All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas series of Dry Wells, where today we are back here over at the villa to continue on with the Rallying the Troops quest now that we have decided to side with Constantine on this one. Uh, he is, I guess, hiding in the mines slash sewer tunnels, maybe? I mean, the current quest objective is pointing me towards that right there, that drainage gate here at the villa. So I assume he's probably closer to the sewers than the mines, but I was a little bit tempted to maybe actually go start the episode over here at the Dustfall Mines, as that should get us to him as well. But, oh well, since we had that waypoint there, I figured what the heck, I'd rest on this bench till morning so that we'd have uh, daylight for this video. And just roll from there. So yeah, let's head on over to the drainage uh, grate here and go and find Constantine. I'm curious if he's gonna be more in the sewers or more over here. Oh, sewer control room. And then over to the uh, door. Okay, yeah, we probably could have gone to the Dustfall Mines instead, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Over to here. And yeah, into the Dustfall Mine. <laughs> I was kind of figuring he might be closer to uh, to the sewers, but I guess not. I guess not. Alright, well, hello everyone. How y'all doing? And don't worry, we have friends and allies. And maybe you've been able to resupply yourself here a little bit. I didn't take everything in this cave. Hello. But hi, Constantine. Glad to see you also got your armor back. Awe, as you can see, more legionaries have joined me. I mean, too. And much of my gear has been recovered. Wonderful. Goes rallying the Dekani. Yeah, I still don't understand why you didn't send me to talk to the fourth Dekani, but... All right, yeah, I convinced three Dekani to support our cause. This is great news. With half the legionaries and drywalls under my command, I have more than enough troops now to challenge Gaius and his ruling. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Okay, so yeah, what's next? Next, we'll need to plan our final stand. We can't stay down here forever, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius finds us. I mean, yeah, there's not a whole he lot. He could simply block the exits and starve us out, or roll radiation barrels down here to force us out. We'd all be massacred. Yeah, well, we got the sewers. He doesn't know all the ways Attacking in and out. Gaius in his fortress is also out of the question. I mean, why? I got guns. Having fortified the building myself, I can tell you that no attacking force would be able to get through without incredible losses. I'm pretty confident I could. What we need is a defensible position out of direct sight of the hill. I believe the villa would work, and we could enter there safely from the mines. I'm very true. I want you to speak to Thomas, the villa elder. Convince them to stay inside. Allow us to fight Gaius on our own terms. <laughs> we'll make our stand there. Do you have any questions before you begin? Oh, I have so many, but will I be able to, uh... Oh yeah, I was actually wondering, what about the Hunter's Guild? Would they support us? The Hunter's Guild might support us. That's a great idea. There are rumors Gaius may have been plotting against them, but I'm unsure. Okay, so it was probably Gaius who drove the uh, Night Stalkers there. Got it. Optional convince them. Sweet. Uh, do you think the people in the villa will be willing to support our fight? It's difficult to say if they would make much of a difference. I also don't know how the Legionaries would feel fighting alongside Legion subjects. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If Gaius wins this fight, who is to say what will happen to the survivors here? Very well. If you can convince the subjects in the villa to help us, we'll accept their support, as small as it may be. Excellent. Let's convince as many we'll people as possible. have to convince them to join us, which may be a challenge in of itself. Ah, I got lots of speech. And how are you feeling about everything? How, how is Constantine right now? <sighs> Honestly, this is a day I hoped would never come. Mm -hmm. I've always been a loyal servant of Kaisar and I've served faithfully all these years. I'm grateful to those who have joined my side, and I hope it can lead us to victory. But Gaius Magnus is a monster. Uh-huh. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't concerned about what's to come. A lot of death, probably. All right, well, bye-bye. Wale. Wale to you, too. Okay, well, I have two ways to go. I mean, one I asked to, yeah, just the exit to the mines. Yeah, I think going through the mine direction might have been Morning. the quicker one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go that way. 
correct. <laughs> I mean, going that way also does mean going this way first, but all right. And then, nope. I could have sworn that that looped around to some sort of above the cave area. Oh, no, that's this. That's this. All right. Then we go down here. Oh, uh, and then the radiation that's already here. Got it, got it, got it. Crap. Uh, where am I going? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, and then this leads into the sec. Oh, okay. All right. I forgot that then this had this mine loading area. Granted, I mean, still probably a little bit quicker than the sewers. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so we've got, let's see, check the quest here in total. So optional, convince the Villa Townsfolk to uh, support Constantine, convince the Hunter's Guild to provide support against Gaius Magnus, and the main thing is warn the Villa. Let's go handle the Guild, uh, the Hunter's Guild stuff first. So even though they're not far, let's just go ahead and straight over to the Lodge, fast travel there, and... You know what? It's showing the door rather than the cellar. I kind of wonder if they've actually moved around now. <gasps> yes, that's not locked anymore. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, I was wondering if we'd ever be able to actually get in here. Random Hunter's Guild member. Engage has got his little shop going. Yo, Gage. Howdy. Oh, my God. Can I finally buy and sell stuff with you now? Sure thing. Here's what I got. Oh my god, they finally did! Oh, yes. It took them a little bit, but we moved the quest forward enough. Magnificent. I'm gonna need those. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have any explosive 50 cal, would you? I sincerely doubt that. But, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, sadly, no. No 50 cal at all, in fact. Dang. All right, I'm going to sell to you. I don't think you'll take the, I mean, you clearly will. There's value with it. But I don't think you'd like the NCR dollars. Let's give you some of my denarii. And... Wait, where are they? Miscellaneous, right? I mean, he had them in here. I could have sworn that I saw that he had. Hold on a moment. Legion to... Okay. <laughs> L. L. Got it. Still don't... What? what? <laughs> you know, let's go to my all section. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And... Holy balls, we have a lot. Well, here, here's a Legion Arius. There we go. Yeah, that'll be nice. And then, uh... Yeah, we got a lot of those. We did earn a lot of Denarius when we did the assassinations for the uh, Legion a while back. There we are. We're making money. I'm a happy man. All right, later. See you later. I'm glad that this is here. I'm very pleased that you guys finally moved stuff around. Which means, maybe, the guild here is actually all cleaned up. Hmm. Hey! Yep, no bodies! Alright, how are you guys doing? Rick, hi. Hello again. Hello. So, the lodge looks great. You really fixed the place up. We sure did. When you convinced us to keep this place, mm -hmm. it lit a fire in me to lead these people. Nice. We came together and put as much back as we could. Good on you, Rick. Good on you. I can safely say that if it wasn't for your help, we'd probably be six feet under or face down in the shack across the river right now. Oh, yeah, probably. If you ever need anything, please let me know. We are truly in your death. Hey, funny you should ask, uh, say that there, Rick, cause, I mean, I just wanted to check if there was anything else we could talk to him about first, but nope. Constantine is challenging Gaius Magnus. Will the Hunter's Guild stand with him? The Hunter's Guild stands with you. 
We're ready to get our revenge against that cocky bastard, too. Nice. I'll alert the fighters. They will stand with you when it's time to make our play. Okay. I'll alert the fighters. They will stand with you when it's time I was to wondering make why the, uh, <laughs> the subtitles didn't go. It was doubled up? All right, sweet. We got them. Until next time. I mean, even though we have talked, Rick, uh, hi, Trudy. Hey there. Nothing. All right, bye-bye. Sure. Oh, are those the fighters that are going to go join us? Are they? Oh, 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 yeah, it looks like maybe. Two people! I mean, oh. Never mind, they're not there to help. Okay. <laughs> I was curious. All right, well. Now let's go chat with the folks over at the villa. And get there. Oh, it's just... Oh, graves. Oh. Eulogy for the Fallen Hunters. Ooh, yeah, we haven't noticed this. Sweet, new things. To my friends, to my family, to the Hunters Guild, you are all of the above. You all stood by me as a young boy and raised me up into the man who writes this note today. I bury you here at the base of the Hunters Lodge so you will remain a part of what we've built here. A part of Dry Wells. My heart has been torn in two with your deaths, but I will tie it back together and rebuild what we have lost. The Hunter's Guild will be reborn, stronger than before, and we will take revenge on those who plotted against us. Well, we're helping with that right now. Your deaths will not be in vain. Wholeheartedly, Rick Sawyer. Loot the corpses. <laughs> Uh, sadly, there's only two lootable graves. All right, and over here we go. To the villa. And maybe I should have fast traveled. Nah, oh well. Hmm. I'm also wondering. You know, I was thinking about when we uh, saw that we could maybe free someone else. I was figuring, you know, we'll just d handle that after we take care of all these things. Is that going to be doable? Well, let's find out. We'll potentially free someone later. I don't know, depending on how things go here. Maybe that Deconis is switched out with a new one? No idea. Since he didn't join us, who knows? But let's go chat with Thomas, since he seems to be the only person here we can chat with about this. Though, Diego! Hey. Oh. Oh, interesting. Hey, I helped free Paula from slavery. Is there any other way I can earn good karma? Hey, didn't we already have... Wait, was she free last time we talked to him? I don't remember. But interesting. I'm glad that this is here now. Hi. That was a great thing you did for Paula. Wasn't it, though? I bet you could earn even more karma if you help some more people around here. Uh -huh. There's a lot to fix here. Oh, man, I want... Hmm. If you want hmm. to do more good, you should speak to Proximus again and see if he'll let you free more slaves. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The Legion is usually happy to let them go, as long as you're willing to pay. Got it. You know what I'm kind of wondering... Is Later. if the more we free, the more might be here to fight with us. And that actually did just lead us to that. And even though the people of the villa already really like me, so they're probably going to go for this, I'd say the more we help the villa, the better before we finish this up. So let's switch to this. Yes. All right, yeah, let's do that. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but yeah, I figure the more people at the villa and the more they like me, the easier things might go later. So let's go speak with the Deconis again. Plus, I am worried that maybe if I wait until all is said and done, he might be replaced. Hi, Proximus. What is it? Well, can I free any more slaves? You want to free more slaves? I'm happy to part you with your money. But I can't let you take them all. I mean, okay. There is work that needs to be done. Menial labor far too lowly for the legionaries. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. All right. Since you care about them so much, why don't you go speak to the slaves tending the field? 
decide which one deserves freedom the most. Oh, uh, so that's why they were all named, but I couldn't talk to them It'll before. It'll be a fun game. Oh. You can do your good deed for the day, and I get to work the other slaves harder to make up for the lost labor. Damn, Proximus. I'll only charge you 200 caps for this one. None of them are quite as useful as Paula was. Damn, Proximus, though. Damn. All right, bye-bye. Well, hey. Dude. <laughs> Dick move, Proximus. Dick move. Well, I, I was wondering why they all had... Far away from one another. Why they all had, uh, you know, unique names. But I couldn't chat with any of them. Ah, oh, only one's actually working the farm. The others are in the road for some reason? All right, well, talk to Kuno first here, I think it was. Yep, hey, Kuno. Hey there. I need to get back to work. Did you need anything? Yeah, so... Tell me about yourself. My tribe was captured by the Legion long ago, when I was just a boy. They originally wanted me to train as a Legionary. Yeah. Uh -huh. I wasn't a great Legionary. Oh, okay. But I was always brave. My Dakanis decided that I had earned the right to live. But not to fight. Hmm. I never made it to a proper battle. After a failed training mission, he sentenced me to work in the fields. He insisted I still make myself useful. Ah, got it. Okay. Okay, well, bye bye. Bye. So I got information from you for you. Then we got you three over here. Hi. I only have a minute if you want to talk. Well, yeah, service. Uh tell me about yourself. My original name is Liam. I was from Nipton before the Legion wiped us out. Oh. They give some of us slave names if You're from we're especially Nipton. helpful. They call me Service now because I serve them well. Yeah. well it's great what name? you're doing, saving one of us and all. But the Legion will control everything soon, and there won't be anywhere for us to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So a Nipton survivor, Bye. eh? All right, what about you, Hello. Tribuna? What's your story? My family originally lived in Boulder City. It's right along the Colorado River mm. by the dam. I was a bad kid. I got into trouble and a lot of fights. My family sent me off on my own and kicked me out. They gave up on me. I headed south, where I got in with some bad people. Mm -hmm. The Viper Gang? We raided farms and hurt a lot of people. I regret it all, and I just want a chance to redeem myself. So didn't we if you help yep, me yep. gain my freedom, I will right the wrongs I've done. I swear. Do we trust her, though? Also, didn't we play a mod a long time ago in New Vegas for Boulder City? Or am I misremembering? Hmm. Well, I need to get gone. Okay. We got one Goodbye. more to talk to. And Maya. Hey so, uh, how'd you become a slave? The Legion came into our camp at night, and our guard on watch had fallen asleep. Such an idiot. We didn't stand a chance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They gave us machetes and made us kill our own guard to make us stronger, they said. It was for those sick fucks' entertainment. Those of us who participated were sold into slavery, the rest were killed. I'm going to get my revenge, one way or another. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. I mean, I was about to say, hey, I, I might need your help with killing some Legion soon. Granted, it's for another Legion person. So I don't think she'd be too happy about that. Uh, honestly, I think the one I'm kind of leaning towards is Tribula. I mean, if she's actually telling the truth about wanting to uh, make amends and all. Hello. She might be the best pick. Hmm. I mean, it's between. Okay. For me, Goodbye. it's between Tribula and this guy. Kuno. I think. Service. Me. What was your? What exactly Hi. was your story again? I, I mean, Nipton, a... clearly, but my original name is Liam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They call me. Mm -hmm. It's great what you're doing, mm -hmm. saving one of them. 
Yeah, and then complaining about the Legion controlling everything soon. Why? So he's kind of just... He doesn't strike me as being all that useful afterwards. He'll just cower somewhere. Kuno just wants to be useful. She wants to redeem herself. Hmm. Yeah, it's between the two of them for me for that one. Yeah, she wants vengeance. He wants to just flee somewhere, I would assume. He wants to be useful. She wants redemption. I'm gonna pick useful. Hi, Kuno. Hey there. I need to get back to work. Did you need anything? Well, uh, Dakana's Proximus has given me the opportunity to free one of you. I'm considering you. Oh, wow. Really? Thank you for considering me. If you free me, I won't waste the opportunity. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I will make my way to the Mojave and start a new life. Oh, that's not what I've I wanted. cities with lights so bright it looks like the sun is up. I'll never come back here. Never again. Oh, I thought you were going to go to the villa. Huh. Bye. You know, I mean, it did move along the thing, but I can still apparently talk to them. Now that I know he's going to go to the Mojave, can I say Hello. the same thing to Tribula and be like, yo, yes, let's see where she wants to go. You've got to help me. I'm not supposed to be here. My family disowned me and sent me to fend for myself along the Colorado. Mm-hmm. I got caught up with a raider gang and did some bad things. I'm not proud of them, but this isn't the right punishment for my crimes. Well, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Please, you've got to help me. Damn it, Tribula. I want to know what you're going to do. I was going to go with Kuno because, oh. you know, useful, but then he's saying he's going to run away to the Mojave. I need someone to stay here. <laughs> Hey, what about you? Hey there. I'm giving them all false hope right now. I'm a horrible human being. If you help me, I can come back and help free these people. I'm an NCR trooper. Oh, are I was you? stationed near Cottonwood Cove. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, if you do go the route of trying to free all the slaves, and I assume working with that NCR spy she would probably be the one you'd want to free to maybe get some more support, maybe? Goodbye. I don't know. I might be overthinking things. But, all right, final one. Yo, service. Hi, I only have a minute. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 this. What's the point? There's nowhere to go. Whoever you save will probably die anyways. Yeah, you're a real downer, service. You're a real downer. Bye. You know what? <sighs> I think I've changed my mind and I'm going to go with Tribula now. I was going to go with this dude, but he's going to go with the Mojave. I don't know where she's going to go, but there's a chance maybe she stays at the villa. And we're not siding with the NCR on this one, so, uh, sorry to you, Maya. <laughs> had, uh, had we actually gone the route of, you know, helping out the spy, the obvious spy merchant guy, she definitely would have been the one to free. I think, maybe, because, yeah, she might become useful for that. But uh, we're not going that route. So, over here. Let's go free Tribula. Yo, Proximus. What is it? <laughs> Tribula. The chem fiend and raider. Really making the wasteland a better place. <laughs> Good for you. Was there anything else? <laughs> Damn, Proximus. Damn. <laughs> That's, uh... Okay, bye. <laughs> well, hey. He really took that dick, didn't he? I mean, I'm hoping she's actually gonna try and turn over a new leaf. Hope, who knows if she does, though. I mean, she ended up Raider and, uh, Chem Fiend because being, you know... Abandoned by her family. So my hope is she stays with the villa. Villa helps her out. She does good work. Granted, who knows? All right. Well, let's see what happens when I go tell her she's free. Hi, Tribia. Hello. I really got right up in your face, didn't I? Hey, you're free to go. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You won't regret this. I may. I'm going to find the ranchers I've hurt and try to start making things right. Oh. 
You've given me a second chance. She's also Thank not staying you. in the villa. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I leveled. Sweet. Uh, let's bring our guns up a bit more. Our sneak could always use some more work, too. But you know what? Our medicine's still pretty low. Let's bring that up. Yeah. Yeah, I am actually curious about that, though. If we had gone the uh, the freeing people route and, like, screwing with the Legion here, she definitely would have been the one to free. And I assume she might actually, like, come back to help, but who knows? That might be the case, might not be. I don't know. But let us go back over to Diego, see if our karma's good. <laughs> oh... Yeah, yeah, that didn't go exactly how I was hoping for, and wow, Proximus really did take that dig, but... Well, let's see how it all pans out here. Hey, Diego. Hey. Hi. I helped Paul and I freed another slave from Proximus. Is there any other way I can help? You've done a lot already. More than almost anyone around here. I have something to talk with you about, but it's not really safe here. Come with me. Oh, okay. He's just walking over there. Oh, Unshackled Part 3. Oh my, okay. I mean, where is he going? Oh, in his home. In his home. Okay. Well, I mean... Hmm. I have a feeling I know where this is going, but let's go find out. As I'm assuming this will still help uh, the people here of the villa, perhaps. What's a uh, quick save, though? Let me tell you a bit more about myself. Uh-huh. I've been traveling along Legion territory for the past few years now. Also, I should have turned on my light. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. They've got the place locked down. Uh-huh. No more raiders. No more crime. Most people around here think it's acceptable. I'm a big believer in karma, though. Yeah, you've said. I can't sit around and pretend there aren't human beings forced into lives of servitude all around me. I've been working with a contact across the river to ferry captures into the Mojave and get them out of Legion control. Oh, have you now? We've saved 30 souls. Oh, okay. Behind the door I have boarded upstairs is a group of four more. This is the first time I've risked keeping people here in my home. You just got them boarded up in there, huh? I've never told anyone outside of my contact about this before. Will you help me save them? I mean... <laughs> Oh, tell me more about your contact. I can't do that. But if you help these people, maybe you'll get a chance to meet them. All I can tell you is they go by Liberator. Hmm, Liberator, huh? I mean, we're kind of on the Legion route here right now, but we also do anything for money because we're... We're not actually siding with the Legion. We just go wherever money is. I don't know if this is actually going to pay... But I'm intrigued. Sure, I'll help. Great. Look, we normally have a system. We catch the legionaries on the road, and when they make camp, we steal away a couple slaves at a time. Mm-hmm. We've never saved four at once before, and we've definitely never brought them into a legion town. It only takes one person to ruin it all. Yeah, that seems like a really big mistake you've made, we Diego. We need to find a way to get our hands on some disguises to get everyone out of here. I think stealth boys will be our best option. Oh, I got a lot of those. Hmm. You mean, I already have a lot of stealth boys on me? I think I have, like... Actually, I have no idea how many I have. But I'm fairly sure a fair few. But hey, can we use another disguise? Like, what about uniforms? I've thought about the Legion uniforms, but we have women in the group of captives. Oh, yes, The yes, Legion yes. will likely see right through it. We need stealth boys. Okay. If you can get your hands on five of them, we'd be able to get these people out of here safely. I probably have those. Well, and who should I speak about uh, to acquire Stealth Boys? I'd suggest trying Sam Prescott's store first, and the merchants around town for the Stealth Boys. Try not to buy them all in one place. You could also try speaking to the Legion Armorer. The Frumentari and the Explorers sometimes use Stealth Boys. 
You'll need a decent reputation with the Legion for him to sell to you. Oh, I got that. They refuse to trade with me. Okay, well, bye bye Best of luck to you. Come back when you've got the stealth boys. I'll get everyone ready to move. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Also, I mean, I gotta take a look. Uh, do, 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 do. I probably need to go and buy them, but... I have 12. <laughs> uh, yeah, speak to him when we have five. We have 12. I do want to go and check with merchants. Is it going to actually show me anything specific? Was I actually... Have we ever... I can't seem to interact with this dang. Have we ever met the Legion armor here? Because I was hoping maybe it'd have a waypoint to that, but I have a feeling since I have all of them already on me, any icon for that is not showing. But yeah, I don't... Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling since I have them all. <laughs> yeah, who's the Legion armor? Have we met them? They're probably in there, aren't they? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're at the half hour mark, so I think we're going to end the episode right here. And in the next one, we'll probably just go straight to back to Diego because we literally have all of the stealth boys that he needs. And why waste my time running around with everything? So <laughs> I may look around for the armor because, yeah, I don't know if we've chatted with them. Hmm. Yeah, I may have a look just to see. And, uh, yeah, then next time we'll go chat with Diego, help him out with that. Again, my whole reasoning is maybe it'll make the people of the villa like me more, which in turn will make it easier for me to convince them to help Constantine. But who knows? Who knows? We'll find out eventually. Well, yeah, hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today and you come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.